Hello, Slicey Dicers. This is Brian with, I'm going to admit, not an original video. This is something a lot of knife channels have done, but a lot of other channels do it too. My daughter's sitting here with me. She tells me that makeup channels even do this, right? Yeah. Huh, that must be horribly interesting <laughs> to everybody. This is my daughter, my hilarious, beautiful 16, almost 17 year old daughter. Mm -hmm. Writer, actress, musician. What else, can, <laughs> what else can we say you are? Makeup. <laughs> Makeup person, yeah. Boring. <laughs> now you're not boring. Uh, we're just gonna, I, I have 12 knives here. She knows nothing about what would, on a, on a scale of not. one to a thousand, what would you rate your knowledge? Negative four. <laughs> Negative four. Okay. That sounds about right, actually. Um, I'm just going to start handing her knives. She's going to put them as to what price she thinks they are. Um, when I laid these prices out, how shocked were you were that knives cost that much? Very shocked. I was at like the most is probably like 60. Well, there, there's, there's a lot in that price range, which once I laid them out, I realized we're going to give you a bit of a pass here because I, I did put a lot in sort of the same price range. Oh, I didn't have them in order. I've got this all messed up. We're going to move these around just so they're in order, just because I am anal retentive that way and I want them. There we go. So from your most expensive to your least expensive. So I'm just going to hand you these at random. You're just going to take a guess. If you want to open them and you want me to help you do that, I, I will do that. Okay. Because I don't want you to uh, cut yourself here on that. We all know I would. Yeah. So there you go. This is, first of all, let me show it first. This is the uh, Real Steel. This is actually brand new, the Terra. I don't know if I've even put the review of this out yet. I just recorded it today, and I'm not sure what order these come out. But this is the new uh, Real Steel Terra. So uh, it's wicked sharp. So uh, oh, be great. very, very careful with that. Well, you can we'll close it where you can put it at the price <laughs> it's supposed to be. <laughs> what did you say the name was? Real Steel Terra. Sounds like a Tesla. It's Terra. It probably means, expensive. It means, it means Earth. Real Steel. It's probably expensive then. What a. I don't think it's up to 200 though. I'd probably say like one, like that one or... Okay, and you can move yeah. these around as you go too. If you see another one that you think, oh no, that one's probably that price. Okay. You can move them around. Uh, next up we have this. This is called a uh, Kershaw Bare Knuckle. I keep having to stand up because my camera is so high and I apologize if it's shaking every time I do. Kershaw Bare Knuckle, we all know and love this one. So uh, how much do you think this one is? Um, I don't know. It's matte and it looks very pretty. Um, I would probably say that it's probably like, I don't know. I don't think it's close to 200, so probably like 150. Okay. It looks expensive. 159.99, she's going to say for that. Well, as I said, you can move them along, move them around as we keep going. All right, next up. Let's, uh, oh, let's grab a crazy one. Oh, that one looks expensive. This is the uh, Cold Steel AD15. I know you guys, this is, this is, I will tell you, I'll give you one little hint. This is like one of my most viewed reviews in the last month or so. It just came out. So it's probably expensive. Um, it has a weird closing thing on it. So, uh, yeah. But hold it and see what you think. Take a feel of it. Oh, this is heavy. Looks like you could cut trees with this thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, they cut more than trees in the videos, trust me. Oh my god. <laughs> um, it's expen it looks like it's expensive, so I'd probably... I don't want to say this is the most expensive one, because I find you're tricking me like the smaller one is. Well, you're going to be able to move stuff yeah, around at the end, so gonna you're going to say that's the 220, huh? Yeah, okay. All right. Next up... This is the uh, Civivi Statera. Fancy name, right? That's a fancy name. Fancy name. Very pretty knife. Also pretty new. Just did a review on that. Uh, very popular brand. I will say that. They sell a lot of these. That's, that's your hint for this one. Is they it's sell probably, a lot. It's probably cheap then if they sell a lot. But look at how, look at how nice it is and just take, mm -hmm. a, take a guess at, at what you think it is. It looks very pretty. It has gold on it. Mm-hmm. I would probably say it's not that cheap because it's very pretty looking. So I'd probably say like fifty nine. So you're putting it on this one? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I have them out of order still. Oh, I can't. 
I can't handle it, McKenna. I keep having the prices <laughs> out of work. All right, next up, let's do, this is the uh, Benchmade Bug Out. Very lightweight knife. Opens and closes like that. You have no interest in opening and closing these, right? No, I'm No, she has no interest in this. <laughs> she has no interest. She has many things, but uh, dex uh, uh, possessed with a massive amount of dexterity is not one of them. <laughs> no. There you go. This is very light. Mm -hmm. Oh, it has a butterfly on it. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's my favorite color. So I have high hopes for this one. Um, it's very small though, so I'd probably say it's like not that expensive, but like forty nine probably. You gonna put it that? Yeah. Okay. Um. Uh. Next up, uh, since you like the butterfly, and you're helping me out, here's another butterfly oh, no. one. This is the uh, Benchmade uh, Freak BK Dash One. We all call it the Super Freak. Sounds like a kind of machine that um, Dr. Doofenshmirtz would make. <laughs> Doofenshmirtz reference? Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, that was a good show, though. Yeah. Um, yeah, so this I will sell. The one hint I'll give you this. This is an upgraded version of another model. So they made a regular one. This is the, the fancier version of one they already make. That helps me in no way. It's just saying it's an upgraded <laughs> model. It's a... Uh... Oh, it's even black on the blade. Yep. Very pretty. Apparently, the guy who designed it was a Deadpool fan, allegedly, is what they say. And that's why it's the color. So you see it's everybody. red on the inside? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's a, a butterfly on the clap? The clip. clip. Oh. The, the, that's not the clip that came with it. Was it they, they, sent, they sent me another one for it. That's not the clip that came with it. Oh. I would probably say around 60, so like 60. Okay. I have no idea. And. All right, here's the, the next one. This is called a Boost Blade Smoke. I think you're going to like this one. You wouldn't like opening and closing it because it's a front flipper, okay. which that means it's got this thing in the front. So you open it with your thumb like that. That's terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you're like, because it's got a puppy on it. Oh, I like puppies. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's got a dog on it. So, uh, yeah, this is actually... That's kind of... Not that vicious, though, to have a dog on a knife. <laughs> like, oh, I have a knife, but yeah, I also but, like puppies. But look what kind of dog it is. Oh. We used to have one of them. They can be mm -hmm. vicious. Actually, we had an Australian cattle dog. That's an Australian shepherd, but yeah. close, yeah. So, uh, yeah, this is called the Boost Blades Smoke is the name of it. Take, take a feel. What kind of metal is it? Titanium. It sounds fancy. It sounds fancy. <laughs> it sounds I'm fancy. in the bike industry. You've heard the word titanium <laughs> your entire life. It's definitely sharp. Yep. I don't know. I have high hopes for this one because it has a dog on it. <laughs> but I would probably... It seems cheaper. So I'd probably say like 39 But I don't... I don't know. Okay. It, Again, we can move these around later on. <laughs> so I'm probably completely wrong. <laughs> uh, next up, this is the uh, Ontario Rat Model 2 in D2 steel. Again, it's it's kind of an upgraded version of the one they used to make, but this is just kind of the regular one now. They just updated some stuff with it. So okay. it's not really like a real upgrade, but it kind of is. But uh, take a feel of that one. If you ever wanted a knife, that's probably what I'd buy you. Mm -hmm. So you... You know it's not too expensive because yeah. I'm cheap. <laughs> <laughs> no, this one does seem cheap though. Um, what did you say the name was? Ontario Knives Rat Model Two. Who would need their knife rat? It's an <laughs> acronym for something. Oh. Um. For somebody's adventure training, I can't remember the R right now off the top of my head. Oh, it says on the blade right there. If I can open it. It's Randall's Adventure Randall's Training. Randall's Adventure Training. I totally remembered that. I totally remembered that. That was not. <laughs> um, I'm probably going to switch these and say this one is this one. And like, um, I want to say that and that one. Okay. So I wasn't sure if this one was like cheaper or. No. 
This is similar somewhat to the knife that your brother loves. Your brother has a Buck 110 Pro that he loves. This is a Buck 112 Ranger. You trusted him with a knife? Yeah, he's, he has a few. Oh. You didn't know that? No, be I more, only saw one. Be more careful when you walk in his room then. <laughs> uh, this is uh, this is different in that it's not an upgraded version of an of an older knife. It's kind of a uh, less an, less expensive version of an older knife that they made, but it's lighter and it's got a pocket clip and some other stuff with it that the other one did not. And this has got a more traditional, looks more like kind of, you know, like grandpa kind of knife. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean it costs less, but let's just go through and see what you, what you, how you feel it costs. I like the design on it. Mm -hmm. It looks like a wafer cookie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Might just be because I'm hungry. Um, is this like stainless steel or? Yeah, they're all stainless steel of some kind. That's, so that doesn't yeah. help me. It's 440C if that helps you. Don't or know what that means. Or 420 HC, I can't remember which one it is. Yeah, I didn't think you would, so <laughs> that was worth asking. What is this like a symbol of, like some state or something? That's what everybody thinks, but uh, yeah, point, don't move over the camera, move over really here. Yeah, everybody thinks that's a state, but it isn't, I, I'm, it's an anvil. Oh, I had it the wrong way, I see now. I thought it was a bad drawing of Texas. That's what I thought too, I'm like, is it made in Texas? Yeah, or um, another reviewer pointed out, it looks like a screaming face with the two screws. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna name him Bob. <laughs> how uh, much do you think Bob costs? Um, probably like 60, and I don't know how much this one would be then. I'm just gonna move it up a little bit. All right, Upgrade again, the once we're done, you can move stuff around. So this is, the next one is the Spyderco Capara. Carbon Ooh. fiber, dirt on it because your dad didn't clean it off before this. He forgot that he cut, he cut apart. Honestly, oh, gross. I cut apart a Snickers bar with it. So oh, of course you did. Um, and then it just it closes like that. So, take a feel of this one, I guess. Spider Co. Capara. Do you recognize any of these brand names that I've said? Not one. Not one. You don't listen to anything I say, do you? <laughs> no. No, yeah, that's fair. What are the initials on it? That's the guy who designed it. That's for Alistair Phillips. He's an um, Australian guy that designed it, and then Spyderco made it. Um, I like the spider. Yeah? I'm going to actually move this one up here, because I think this one's more expensive, mm -hmm. and put this one right here. Okay. This one at 69. And we have just two left. And this is where you probably want to move stuff around, because we're getting down to just a few. And you didn't see the other ones first? Yeah. This is the CRKT Ooh, like Large Pilar. Called the P-Large is what they call it. It's a, it's a joke. <laughs> it's named after Ernest Hemingway's boat, but then it sounds like large. Why didn't they name it? That's a good name. They had a small one called the P-Large, a bigger one named the... Why are you laughing? That's a good name. <laughs> the P-Large is what it should be called. But yeah, you got black on both sides. Here you go. So it's a bigger version of a smaller one that they make. Yeah, I like the all black. Yeah? You're a fan of the blacked out blades? A lot of people aren't. It's black like my soul. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> that's lovely. Um, Raised her well. I have no idea. We'll set it down somewhere and then say you can move them around as we go. Yeah, I'm going to set it down. You're just going to put that one aside? You don't yeah, know? Yeah, because I have no idea. Okay, so here's the fancy. last one. This is the Steel Will Lanner. This one's brand new, just came out. So. Uh, I like the red on it. Yeah, so do I. That's really bright, isn't it? Mm. I said they went the full Vader with it. That's what I was, that's what I was gonna say, Star Wars. Yeah, <laughs> somebody, somebody said Darth Maul. I blocked them from my channel. Uncultured swine. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm kidding, I didn't block them from the no. channel, but here you go. Um, I like this one a lot. Yeah. I really like the red on it. Good size too, isn't it? I don't know why, but like the ridges on it remind me of a dinosaur. Yeah, okay. I don't know, like the back of a dinosaur. Yeah. I'm gonna put this one right here and then put this one. I okay. don't know. I still don't know about that one. Alright, do you want to move anything around? You can pick stuff up and check them out again. Um, I have no idea. I'm thinking that this one's more expensive than this one. So... 
just don't know because I don't know if this one is more expensive than this one and you're just trying to trick me because it's bigger and bulkier. But I have no idea. I don't know. I think I'm good. You think you're good? I think I'm good. You I probably got this completely wrong. Okay. <laughs> now I have to so, my thing. So, how many did you get right? None. Uh, that's true, dear. You didn't get any of them <laughs> right. But you came really close on a lot of okay. them. Okay. Okay? And I did, I admit, some of them, these are kind of bunched together, so, so we understand. Um, I will say, first of all, this one was one that uh, kind of put in here as a, uh, not a trick, but uh, a lot of people do say this knife feels cheap. Oh, was that expensive? Yeah, this is 119 bucks. Oh my God. Because it's so lightweight. I love it. A lot of people say it's cheap. So yeah, yeah. so you, you, you fall in line with a, a large portion of the knife community on that one. So that's completely fine. It's more expensive than the James Charles makeup. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll take your word for that. <laughs> Um, uh, next, what are we going to do? And then I, I think, now we'll just start from the top. So the 8015 uh, is not 220, but you weren't far off. It's 160. Um, that looks so and expensive, though. the one that's 220, that's the one you missed by the most. What? The Boost Blade Smoke is 220. It's all titanium, and it's really hard to get. Um. They only make a few of them when they feel like it every now and then. And we all clamor for them because we're idiots. Oh. Uh, yeah, you had the mm -hmm. Kershaw at 159. It's actually 70. Oh. It's a pretty, it's a really good value knife though. So that just says nice things about them that uh, they made something that you felt was more expensive. The uh, Spider Co. Capara was 188.50. Oh my. Gosh. But you came really dang close on this one. It's 191.25. One so that's very, I, very good. I know that one was fancy because it had a butterfly on it. <laughs> now, you said this was 191.25. Uh, it's you probably... Were. Nowhere's near that. Yeah. This is 60 bucks. Oh, but it looks so fancy because of like the detail. The carbon fiber, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but it's, it's not... If you see better carbon, it's not that great a carbon fiber. Um, but yeah. you wouldn't know that. Uh, now, the Buck 112 Ranger, you said was 60. It's not. It's 24.95. Wow. But you were really close on the Rat model, too. 39.95. Okay. It's a little more. Now, they make this in another version with another steel that is about 24.95. Hmm. So if you got the other, which you wouldn't know the difference. No. It'd be 24.95. I shouldn't like the color of ice. I don't like brown. Uh, the Lanner I took off out of here and... Um, I'm going to track that one down again. That one was, oh, I'm trying to remember myself now. I might have messed this one up. We're going to put this one aside myself because I'm going to forget for a second. Now, <laughs> we'll go with the, uh... oh, I know what it was now. The CRKT P-Large. You liked it because it's all black. See? She thinks that all black is pretty. She's just as boring as her it's father. Like my soul. They make fun of me on this channel because I like boring looking knives and they call something that's all gray or all black Brian Speck. It's not boring though because it's like matte and then it has the... yeah exactly i like matte. exactly it's tasteful you were close on this kind of 68 bucks it's 49.99 i don't want to call it tasteful because you're not tasting it you're not you know, eating it no, you know you know what tasteful <laughs> means now we're down to the last two this one uh you were actually close i actually thought this was the other ringer i threw and i thought you'd pick this one to be much more expensive because it looks mm -hmm. more expensive but i guess I guess you recognize that gold liners aren't necessarily uh, yeah. expensive either. You have a lot of cheap knockoff handbags with gold stuff on them. Oh, thanks, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 68 bucks for that. Fifty nine ninety nine for the Steel Will Lantern. So you didn't get any right, <laughs> but the... And, and you only fell for one of my little traps. You didn't fall for the other one. And you had a lot of them really close, so that's not bad. So I don't get ice cream for winning. <laughs> You're almost 17 years old. You can buy your own damn ice cream. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Maybe we'll have McKenna appear on here in some other stupid thing some other time. Maybe I'll give her Kevlar gloves and see if she can open knives without cutting herself. <laughs> probably, oh, probably not. I don't trust her with that. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I've been Brian. And this has been McKenna. Bye. Have a good one. <laughs>